Oh, this is what we want. It is still supposed to be one of the premium trout destinations in the world, apparently. Oh, they're eating. Just trying to go in quietly when they're not looking. Um, we just found just like a little four wheel drive track. It's five k's into one of the other lagoons. It looks like we should, we don't know what it's out there, but hopefully it's just a car park sort of thing where we can camp on one of the lakes. Fingers crossed, we have absolutely no idea what we're yeah, going we into. Yeah, we don't know what it is. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Oh, cute. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, we made it. It was a big job. <clears throat> Joey's Louise, it just took us an hour to do 5K. Yeah, hectic. We realized on the drive in, one of the um, first old blokes we'd spoken to around here, he said about this one, he literally said, yeah, it's quicker to just walk in the drive in though, so. Yeah, it literally is. It, was, it wasn't hectic hard, it was just rocky and rough and slow, very slow. First mm. gear low range, literally the whole way. So this is a car park that a lot of locals will come to to then walk off to a lot of other lakes. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go, yeah, we'll go walking, see what we can find. Fish some different lesser fish spots, get into some remote spots as you guys know we love. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you excited? Yeah, pretty keen. Yeah, it should be good. Let's do it. We're gonna finish setting up and do you want a beer? Absolutely. Tento's beer? It does need a beer, yep. Tento's beer. Oh, there's your blow. Pipeline for you? Do that. Sour for me. Oh, no. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet nectar. morning we're up a little bit later than we were originally hoping to uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah it's a perler of a day again so we found there's a little track behind us that's gonna take us um, hopefully to a few more lagoons I went for a bit of a walk yesterday to have a look and I could see a body of water a fair bit over in the distance um, the Garmin says it's like three K's as the crow flies so uh, there's a track which is good so we're just gonna follow that we've got fly gear and the spin rod um, hopefully we'll get into some trout and hopefully we'll get one for lunch. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Whoa! Oh. 
Oh, this is what we want. This is what we need. Oh, you've already got to go. Hi. Get out the way. Hi, I can't get out the way. Here it in the in the bowels of the bush. What a spot. All right, this first spot. I don't even think it's the lake we were trying to get to, but they're bloody rising everywhere, so we're gonna have a crack. It looks slippery as buggery. Charlotte's already into it. Just come around the other side of this. Cause I could see him rising out there in the center. I haven't seen any yet, just little ones. Just trying to be really quiet. They're out there. Can't work out what they're eating either. There's a lot of dragonflies around. But there's something landing on the water. The lake's so still, every little splash just sounds so loud. Me walking sounds like a bloody giant. It's awful. Right. Alright, so. <clears throat> Plan is I saw a fair few fish rising just off here. This is about the furthest out I can get. I'm just going to wait here and hopefully they'll come past. Oh, they just do that. Every time I walk around they rise a bit further out. <laughs> just saw a little one there. He was going, came right up to it. I just put the wet fly back on, but he was only little, but he had a look at it. So man, as soon as I leave a spot. Yeah, there's a little one just in here. My car started him, he had a look, but he didn't eat it. Yeah, I'll give you a different lure. It's a little bit lighter, so it won't go down as deep. Yeah, they just seem a little bit too far out. I can't quite get to them. But it should be, yeah. They haven't eaten it yet, which is surprising. No, they all. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'll give you a different lure. You chuck this one on. You, you want me to do it? Yeah, that's bigger than me. Isn't it? Uh -huh. Bloody stunning. This one won't be as heavy, so you won't be able to cast it as far. You should be able to get to that. And it spins so you can you do it fairly slow. Okay. And it won't go so deep? It won't, no. Oh no, they'll eat. They're, they're pretty aggressive. So this this is getting like a reaction strike out of them. Whereas the fly fishing is getting um, like what they want to eat, you know, food. Oh, God, 
Let's get your heart going. It's probably the closest I've got so far. I just had one come over. I don't know if he's looking at the nymph or the, or the dry fly. I thought he sloped it, but I'm pretty sure he's just turned around. We'll just come over to the next lagoon. This is a fairly big one. I picked up the spin rod. The weather's sort of turned for polaroiding what we were doing before. But although we haven't caught any fish, it's been a pretty, pretty awesome day. It's just beautiful hiking out here and seeing all of this. Ran into a couple of blokes on the way out, but other than that, we haven't seen anyone. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna work work my way around here, over in the corner there. If I get the wind at my back, I'll, I'll do the fly rod again. But at the moment, I just wanna catch a fish. Righto, so we just left that um, that other lake. Didn't really, yeah, didn't get anything. It's a, it's a bit frustrating um, because of all the time we put into this. But as I mentioned earlier on, one of the things I love about trout fishing is is the places it takes you. Um, and that, yeah, that lake this morning was absolutely beautiful. We were there at the right time, just couldn't really make it work. But these things happen. So yeah, we just got back to camp before and. Had a beer and a few chips and that, and restocked. So I'm just going now for a bit of a walk, just back to one of these ones that's close, well, close-ish, sort of to camp, so um, I'm just gonna have another little, just a quick play around. I've gotta, yeah, gotta get, gotta get something. If anyone watching this does some trout fishing, yeah, feel free to drop a comment below and let me know what I'm doing wrong, or. What I should be trying to do, and I just yeah, I don't have a lot of experience fishing these lakes, I suppose. So I'm sort of winging it all, and I think a lot of it is is my um, lack of casting experience, especially this morning, like trying to hunt down those trout. And, you know, you throw one, you get one chance essentially. You throw it wrong, and um, yeah, they're onto you and they're gone. So anyway, I can see this lake up here. So the bloke on the way in said this is a pretty good one. Um, yeah, I'll get down here and have another go and see what happens. How good is this spot? Wow. I must completely miss this track on the way in. But there's a, yeah, like a, yeah, a track. <laughs> Down to here. It's perfect, flat, open, right on the lake. This is where we should be camping. Wow. Well, we dropped the ball there. Maybe, oh, it's getting late, but maybe we come back here. I don't know. It's nice having fresh water just there because we, 
have to use it for showering and that. And um, down here it's a bit colder than Cape York, so it's nice to heat up a bit of water for a shower. But where we are, there's no water nearby. Look at this. Yeah, that one. Oh guys, another donut there in this other little lake, so that'll do me for today, I reckon. Um, probably come back here in the morning, I'm thinking. There really wasn't anything going on at all. Um, but uh, yeah, I reckon, same as that lake was this morning, if there's a hatch going on in the morning, and it should be sunny tomorrow as well. It's just big, big and open. big big flats so yeah hopefully we can just walk around and spot some fish anyway we'll uh pick up in the morning hopefully get one of these damn trout <coughs> good morning i'll just come back out to that lake that we were at yesterday morning I'm out here a fair bit earlier, so there's a little bit more wind, which is annoying. Um, but I'm hoping I can sort of catch the the start of that hatch, which I think I'm hopefully I'm on the money. There's been a few fish rise this morning so far. That's why I'm sitting here rigging up. So um, yeah, I'm just going to wander around, um, literally just look for look for fish or look for rising fish, and then cast to them. Hopefully, it's a good plan. There's a little bit of cloud, but I think that's going to blow over. Yeah, I'm certain that'll buy over and that sun's just about to light up the water so yeah hopefully this morning that's it we're on I'm feeling it so I've just got a little dry fly on um, as close to what I can see as what they were eating yesterday and I've just got a nymph on there as well um, so yeah hopefully two options if I can land it in front of one hopefully we'll get one on either of those flies anyway let's get stuck in Just saw a fish. He's a bit down to get the rod. There he is. Oh, he turned away from it. <sighs> oh, wow. He swam right up to the dry and turned away. Gonna have to change it, I think. He went up and had a look. Wow. Well, positive is that's that's the closest I've come to sight casting a fish on the dry might take the now take the nymph off and just run oh, one of these little dries that in the shop said were real good they seem to match the little I don't know, moth things getting around I thought this was pretty close to what they were eating yesterday but well, Bruce in the pudding, he didn't want to eat it today. Whew. spotted two fish in this little it's just a little where the creek runs out of that lake man these things are hard to catch <coughs> I don't even think they looked at the fly we landed it pretty close to them but it's just swam into all this 
weed. I don't know if he spotted me or not. I was just chatting away to the camera there for a while actually um, and yeah looked down it wasn't on had no battery so I don't know how much I was even got on there but I just followed this little creek down from the lake and there's a heap of fish in it I've cast it too spooked too but good size and this creek's only a couple meters wide at the most this is just a little, this is isolated actually. Yeah, this is just a little lake that's, just to see if there's anything in it. I'm surprised to see as many fish as I have seen in this tiny little water. So it wouldn't surprise me if there's one sitting in here. But yeah, you just gotta be so, so stealthy. Like I was down on my hands and knees, trying to get close enough to have a cast. And I'm pretty sure they still knew I was there. I'm just going to go back up the other side of it. There's a little section that opens out there that I haven't actually had a look in yet. But yeah, I assume these fish get washed out when it floods. There's obviously enough food here. I don't know how far it goes. I'm sure it goes to another lake somewhere. This is it, so you can't see the undercut below you until you're right on top of it and the fish are on you. I'm just going to put the fly there. Just see, you never know. Doesn't look like this section has any. This is what I'm talking about, it's only, this is only a metre. And how good fish. I can see one. It's a fair way out. The wind's coming straight towards me. Let's just talk about that for a sec. Like I said, I'm just this is a little back, little back pond comes off the creek, runs out. I saw a good one, and I put the cast in. He came out, had a look, went back. I put the second cast in, and another one came out. 
and he ate it. I watched him eat it. I think I waited too long to strike. And then I went and set the hook and I felt him, but the fly pulled straight out. I just swore back in, another little one came out, ate it, and that time I think I struck too early. Again, pulled it straight out. But there's there's more in there. I'm just going to go down to that next little bit of shadow, same sort of bit of brush. Just put that fly there. They're obviously eating that fly, which is good. So. <sighs> Getting closer. down there, I just don't know how to get to it. This wind is hectic, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's got to be a good 15 knots. There was a big one cruising just in there, I just got to somehow get cast towards it. Well, this morning's failed again, really. <laughs> well, that's the closest I've come to getting them out of these lakes, so it's, it's difficult. It's very difficult. I talk a lot about having to earn your fish. I definitely think I've earned these. But, yeah. Anyway, we're going to move on. Um, back up camp and head over to another lake. Um, it's a bit closer. Go back down this rough as track. And yeah, somewhere just sort of near the main road there, so I'll have another crack. I'll get one. I will get one. Yeah, if you expected a heap of action like we had at Cape York. This is definitely uh yeah, definitely a little more tedious. But I think that's just an experience thing and positives for today is I've figured out well I managed to match what they were eating I got them to bite on this fly so um, yeah you take small wins anyway I'll see you back at camp and um, yeah, move on to the next lake got a sad boy frustrated boy Oh, we have not caught any trout still. How you feeling? Yeah, can't win them all. I'll figure it out eventually, but yeah, it's fishing, I suppose. We had um, someone messaged us on Instagram who'd seen the um, well, our Instagram handle on the car and was messaging us, and I asked him like as a local like what should we be doing where should we be and he basically said the two places that Shane's been fishing so obviously just not had any luck mm. so we might try again in the morning but um yeah if not then we will see you next week which we're not 100% sure on what we're doing yet we think cradle mountain but look we like to change our mind all the time so obviously this episode hasn't been of what we hoped we hope we'd catch some trout and do a catch and cook that hasn't happened but nonetheless obviously it's given you a bit of an idea of the central plateau region which is bloody beautiful this place is incredible so uh, hopefully we can still help you to get an idea of the place if you are thinking to visit or if you've considered it fishing it is still supposed to be one of the premium trout destinations in the world apparently um, but we're yet to see any trout to confirm it so uh, we'll see you next week and as always thank you so much for watching Thanks for watching. Oh, you want to say it again because I wasn't looking at your head. Oh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.